So is there any advice you would go, give to the students who want to pursue science or who are already pursuing science? I don't know if I know enough to give advice. Okay. Um, again, I can only share personal experiences. Uh, if I am in a mood where I have a goal in mind that, okay, I have to push this paper into science or nature. Okay. I would be extremely unhappy. Um, what keeps me going in science is that every day, whatever little happens, I seem to enjoy it. There is this little experiment that happened. These results have come. They are cute. I am happy. Right? My students are happy. Uh, oh, we did this. Oh, it's not working out. Can I find a solution to it? We have worked out a solution. We are happy. So, at least for me, the goal seems to be fairly localized. Um, enjoying what happened that day. Finally, cumulatively, will it lead to something? Usually it is because you have some plan in mind. You don't do some project without any plan. But if I keep thinking about the end of the plan all the time, I'm not going to enjoy it. And this is true for most of the things that I do. I know what all syllabus I have to teach by the end of the course. But if I keep thinking about that, I'm not going to enjoy today's class. Today's class, did I have fun? Did I see some students' eyes light up saying that, oh, I understand this? Good. Right? So, if you enjoy the process on a day-to-day -day basis, I think it is going to be good for you rather than looking at the end point. I am not saying end points are not important, but it is important to enjoy the day-to-day -day things. Second thing, okay, this is probably an advice. Uh, coming from personal experience. Develop a network of supportive people. It's very important. Especially if you are going to be in research. Sometimes your PhD, in spite of all the things that I have said, it is true that even in a very supportive environment, uh, things can get very depressing. Things don't work out. Experiments don't work out. You are, there is pressure building up. You see your friends settling down and you're not settled. All kinds of pressure. Family, maybe not your immediate family, distant family. People ask, so what are you doing? PhD, huh? Uh, so is that a job? Or oh, you're doing postdoc. Is that a job? So these little things keep bugging you, right? How do you carry on? You need a set of very supportive people. Okay. They can be your friends, your mentors whoever. But having that network is very, very important. So develop that. That is the only advice I will give. So in the last, can you advise some books to the students or can you tell us the book that you have gifted the most to students who are interested in your field? Uh, the book that I have gifted the most, it's not directly related to the things that I work on. But one because it is the book that I've gifted the most, is something called In Pursuit of the Gene by James Schwartz. It's a beautiful book uh, that I have gifted a lot. Um, I have gifted Darwin's books. He's a very good writer and not just a scientist. Even the origin is very well written. So that I have gifted quite a lot. There are more newer books, uh, very interesting books, very well written books. Um, I can think of one book called Promiscuity. It's a very nice book, which details the idea of intersexual conflict, how it evolves, what happens, all that. That's again a very nice book if you want to get into it. Of course, there are other classic works, uh, more popular science work. For example, uh, Dawkins books, a lot of them are very popular with uh, students. I know that. There's some very nice books... Uh, um, that that are a little more technical, not necessarily that one would give as a gift to undergrads, but um, there is a very recent, a little more technical book, but beautiful book by Arvid Argan, uh, The Genes I View, very beautiful book. Uh, that's something that I would suggest if people are interested in it.